Hey everybody, welcome to Pet Services Pro, a show for you and your pets. If you're wondering about agility for dogs and want to learn more about it, then you are in the right place. We're going to talk about what agility for dogs is all about and why you may want to do it for your dog, so you don't have to do a bunch of research on your own or spend a bunch of money. So if you're looking for an exciting way to have fun with your dog and get some exercise, then this video is for you because today I'm going to share with you what Agility for Dogs is all about. Make sure to watch until the end because this video will be packed with lots of good information. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos on how to take care of your pets. And feel free to ask questions. We love them and we answer them. So here we go. Dogs are one of the most popular pets in the United States. They are loyal, lovable, and obedient animals that can be trained to do a variety of things. Agility is a sport that was designed to test the strength, endurance, intelligence, and overall athleticism of dogs. It's similar to obstacle course competitions for humans, and it's a lot of fun. Agility is a dog sport that involves running through an obstacle course. The goal is to get a dog to complete an obstacle course in the fastest time possible while also ensuring that the dog stays focused on the handler and doesn't run off after another animal or person. Some dog breeds are better suited for agility than other breeds, but it's also an individual thing too. Agility courses can have as many as 20 obstacles, which are typically spread over a 400 foot or 120 meter distance. Obstacles include tunnels, jumps, and bridges. There are four standard heights at which jumps can be set. 12 inches or 30 centimeters, 24 inches or 60 centimeters, 36 inches or 90 centimeters, and 48 inches or 120 centimeters. But don't worry, even some small dogs can jump that high. It's so amazing to see them leap over those jumps. What dog breeds are good for agility? When it comes to agility, there are a few things that you should take into consideration. The first is the size of the dog. There are some breeds that are better suited for agility than others, but don't let that stop you from trying. Just because there's a breed recommendation as to which breed is better at it, doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. Dogs can surprise us with what they can accomplish. The second thing you should consider is whether or not your dog has any health issues or problems that might make agility difficult or painful. For example, if your dog has hip dysplasia, then they will likely not be able to do agility because it can be painful and cause arthritis in their joints as they get older. You probably should get a vet wellness check before starting training. There are many dog breeds that are good for agility and a few of them are mentioned below. Some breeds have been bred specifically for agility, such as the Border Collie, Australian Shepherd, Jack Russell Terrier, Welsh Corgi, and Belgian Travern. Other breeds have a high aptitude for it, like the Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd Dog, Boxers, Siberian Husky, Toy Poodles, and Weimaraners. See how many different sizes there are? Toy Poodles all the way to German Shepherds. Dogs that like to jump naturally, such as the Boxer and Jack Russell, do quite well. How strenuous is it for dogs? Agility is a sport that requires the dog to jump over obstacles, climb up walls and ladders, and weave in and out of poles. Dogs that participate in agility need to be agile themselves. However, there are some dogs who are not quite as good at agility as others, this is because agility can be very strenuous for dogs and can cause injuries if they don't have the right care or training. A dog's agility training can be very strenuous on their joints, muscles, and bones. This is why it's important to always use the proper equipment when training with your dog. It will also be important to give them plenty of water throughout the day because they'll be burning more energy than usual. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun just doing it. Your dog may not be fast enough or strong enough for competition, so just do it for fun if he has the strength. Just be mindful of what he can do and which obstacles are difficult for him. How strenuous is it for humans? There are many benefits of agility training for both humans and dogs. For example, it is a great way to exercise your dog and keep them happy. It also provides mental stimulation for your dog, which can help with boredom or separation anxiety. 
On the other side of the coin, agility training can offer you a sense of accomplishment and a great workout when you finish a course just like any other sport or hobby. Again, if you're not very fit, just take it at your own pace. You can still have fun going slow and not competing. Can disabled people participate? Well, if you are disabled or have any other physical limitations, then there are lots of ways for you to enjoy agility with your dog as well. You can watch videos of other disabled people doing it on YouTube or read about their experiences on social media. You can also take advantage of adaptive equipment such as harnesses and ramps that make it easier for disabled people, motorized wheelchairs, long leads until the dog is trained to do the obstacle off lead, and so on. Trainers can help you adapt if you are disabled. How old does a dog have to be? Agility training for dogs can be done at any age, but it starts about six months of age. It depends on the breed of the dog, their physical condition, and what type of agility they're doing. Dog breeds that are more agile and have a higher chance of success at agility competitions are often smaller in size. They also need to be physically fit as agility requires a lot of physical activity. Older dogs can get arthritis, so it may be difficult for them to do agility training or competitions. Although I have seen older dogs that don't have any problems start doing agility training also. What does the agility course look like? A dog agility course is a sequence of obstacles that a dog and its handler must navigate. The course is designed to test the speed, accuracy, and obedience of the dog, and is a lot of fun for both the dog and the owner. Obstacles are typically jumps, tunnels, weave poles, A-frames, and seesaws. The course may also include such elements as a tire jump, pause table, or a teeter-totter. In a competition, the dog has to navigate this course at a high speed. The object is to be the fastest dog to go through the course. If he's competing, he will get points taken off if he skips an obstacle, misses one and has to go back through, or falls or jumps off of one. If he knocks a pole down from a jump, that can cost points too. Can you make your own obstacles to practice? Yes, you can. You can do research to learn how to build a do-it-yourself agility set and you can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. You can make it permanent or make one that you can disassemble and store. There are a lot of references and resources out there. The most important thing is to make it safe for both you and the dog. Do not try to overextend your dog's abilities and do learn the agility rules so you can build it to the proper specifications. Joining an agility training class or agility club will give you a good start to what you'll need and they may even have sets for sale. How do we get started? It all starts with training. First, have a vet check your dog to make sure he is fit to do agility. It can be strenuous on the dog at times and you want to make sure he's okay and vaccines are up to date if he'll be around other dogs and people. You can search on the internet for agility training and clubs in your area and check out their ratings, prices, and so on. You want to find a good trainer. Also, consult the American Kennel Club for more information. They have a lot of good resources. So, there you have it. Agility for dogs. What a great sport to do with your dog. It's good for you, good for him. It's a win-win. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about great pets, pet care, and much more. Check out our other video, Train Your Dog Yourself, at the link in the description. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care!